what's going on people welcome back to the fourth dimension yes sir hope you guys doing all right during covid if you got your vaccines congratulations thank you whatever you want me to say thank you for doing that man check on your family check on your friends i hope you guys are doing all right for real let me know how you're doing in the comments today we're gonna be changing this v-belt oops v-belt or serpentine belt on this 2014 7 generation 2009 through 2014 nissan maxima might be the same thing on the Ultima and the Rogue and Murano, maybe. First things first, here's your part number. I'll let y'all get that real quick. If not, you can also call the dealership and ask for a serpentine belt. They're gonna give you the part number and ask about the price. Ask how much they're gonna do it for. Ask them if you want yours changed, how much they'll do it for. Serpentine belt from the Nissan dealership. They was about to charge me sixty to seventy dollars. I got this off eBay for twenty dollars. Guy sent it to me from Hawaii. Now, before you order anything from mainly eBay and even Amazon, I guess if it's a third-party seller, make sure you look at your reviews. Make sure you look at the reviews for that item and the feedback. If that profile has a hundred percent feedback or it's over 80% and it's good to buy it from them and they got a lot of positive reviews, go ahead and get it, man. Other than that, be careful. If it's coming from China or Hong Kong or whatever, don't get it because if you got to ship it back, it's going to cost you way too much. Now, this is the old Serpentine belt. Hasn't been changed since the car has been manufactured. It has a little bit of damage to it. You know it's time to change your belt when it's been raining outside or it's cold and you try to start the car when you start the car and it's got this loud squealing or whiny noise get outside go look at it it's up there on your front tires one of the front tires mainly for the nissans i don't know how it is for the other cars but you hear all that loud squealing and stuff as you can see it has a little bit of damage to it so it's time for hers to be changed it wasn't bad but it was noticeable and it was annoying when it's like i said it's been raining a lot we out here in texas and the weather don't know what the hell they want to do Start the car up and it's squealing. It's embarrassing, <laughs> kind of. But you want to make sure your car's running right. This is also going to help for your alternator, your AC compressor, and things like that. It's going to help it run better. It should be running smoother. And it's going to help your car, pretty much. Damn near everything you get for your goddamn car is going to help the goddamn car. Anyway, that's the old Serpentine belt. This is the new one. Once you take this off, you don't have to take the tire off. It's optional. But if your arms are skinny and long enough and you can maneuver your way up in there, you can take the belt off without taking the tire off and jacking it up. I wanted to get up in there and see what was all up in there. And that's it's a good thing that I did because there's a bunch of rust. Besides, that should tell you right there that there's a bunch of rust up in there, which it is. So as you can see, the belt is running off of the, the idle pulleys. You have about three up. It's wrapped around here make sure it's facing the right way the part with the lines on it this part with the lines and the indentions whatever you want to call it is obviously going to go on the inside this is on the outside so if you can see right up in here it has the lines on it that's where the inside you're going to put the inside of the belt or whatever you got the alternator up there it needs to wrap around that belt I can get up in there. You just wrap around your alternator belt. Go in between there, above that bolt, above that bolt. And then it needs to come around there. And you got this right here, your tensioner pulley. You wanna take your socket and you're going to need a 14 inch socket. Not 14 inch, my bad. 14 millimeter socket. <laughs> What I did was place it on there and pulled it down, pulled the belt off, and then before you pull the belt off, make sure you take a picture of this. Make sure you take a picture or record a little video of how everything is wired or how everything is, I don't know the word to use, how it's wrapped up. Take a picture, take a video. I did a video and I lined everything up properly, make sure it's nice and tight. I didn't unscrew that. I pulled it down, relieved the tension from, from it, pulled the belt out, started wrapping the new one around there, 
looked at my video about five to ten times to make sure everything's properly connected had to pull that back down and get the other end like the alternator belt I got that but this over here I couldn't get to it so I had to pull it down all the way to where the socket was touching the oil filter put it down all the way and place the belt around there it's gonna be a tight squeeze I'm not gonna lie to you it's gonna be a tight squeeze unless you want to take this panel off which I wouldn't even attempt to do that because that's just too much work but yeah that's basically how you do it and if you do it perfectly it's probably gonna take you what maybe 15 minutes including jacking it up and putting the jack stands under there this is 15 25 minutes it is not gonna take that long now, like I said, you can take it to the dealership, let them charge you $3,000. Charge you about $150 to $200. Right here, I just saved 20 I just bought a fucking serpentine belt off eBay, waited for it to come in. Saved a bunch of money. Third time starting it up just to make sure everything's on there properly. It's not making any weird noises. And it's spinning correct. So as you can see, I'm not gonna get too close because I don't want to mess it up. Everything's on there tight, it's running well. I revved it a few times earlier. It's running fine. Now that I tested it, I can put everything back on here. I can turn it off, put everything back on here, and get done. Like I said, if you do it right, including jacking it up, it's gonna take you about 20, 30 minutes. Literally. Versus having to wait at the dealership, wait in line for about two hours waiting on your car to get ready and you're paying them 200 to 300 dollars to do something that's going to take 20 to 30 minutes you can get a belt if you're a, if you're a lady find you find you a nice man who's going to do anything for you <laughs> i'm kidding seriously though 20 bucks off ebay same thing from amazon 20 bucks versus 60 dollars and paying a labor fee at nissan because dealerships really be trying to steal your money. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope I was able to help some of you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.